Easy now, Walker. You are all right. This is Star Haven, home to peaceful adepts. There is a letter and the key to the door on the dresser. For surviving a dragon attack, you look well. The healers did an admirable job, yes? Zamarak is pleased to see you are awake. You have slept for many days, and this one feared the worst. Still, 
It is not every day that one walks away from a dragon attack. We both were. The caravan that brought us to Northern Elsewhere was attacked by the Great Beast. Luckily, the adepts of Starhaven witnessed the event. A humble adept, nothing more. This one was exiled from his home long ago, but felt the time had come for him to return. That is not a tale that Zamarak wishes to tell. Not right now. Besides, the Grand Adept wants to talk with you. Best not to keep him waiting. Greetings. This one is Majadro, Grand Adept of Star Haven. You were carrying the letter when we found you. It looked important, so we left it where you could find it. But how do you feel, Traveler? Did the dragon cause any permanent damage? Let us test your strength then, yes? Though this one is now Grand Adept, he once trained the warriors of Starhaven. Sadly, it has been many years since Majadro last sparred with a pupil. Not here, of course. This is no tavern brawl. Could I take out one of our training swords and meet this one in the gardens? Warm of a changing season. Can you see it? This one fears the dragon that attacked you was only the beginning, traveler. Dark moons loom on elsewhere's horizon. Of that, Majadro has little doubt. But enough talk. We came here to spar, did we not? Majadro can think of no better, like the two divine moons that dance in harmony. Let us begin! Strike, Majadro! Quickly! A solid strike! Very good! Sleek work! You strike well, but can you guard? Now, luck! Quick! Strike while this one is off balance! Very good, traveler! Shield yourself! And once more! A brutal hit! Again! Strike with force, Traveler! Such masterful strikes! But what if you are in distress? Now break free of this one's trap! Prepare for another trap! Get ready for another! Now back Majadro before he strikes! Again! Press your advantage with a heavy attack! Interrupt this one before he strikes! Quickly now, stop this one's strike! If your enemy charges their assault, strike! Interrupt their attack and punch! How good it is to spar with a student again! 
Come now. Let us continue to the Adeptorium. Wait, did you hear that? Enter Hammer! Look out! You must help the other adepts. Take the passage through the catacombs. This one must go on Zamarak. Stop this! Starhaven's adepts are peaceful! Another corpse for our army! How grand! George, you arrived. Well... It looks like you've certainly recovered from your wounds. And just in time to put that Yoraxian Jekyll seat in his place. Zisvo, is this one grateful we found you in that wreckage?
The soldiers said they were searching for something, but they barely gave us any chance to respond before they started attacking. It is best to leave. There is no reasoning with these maniacs. Yes, this one heard its terrible voice, like something out of a moon singer's stories. Ishadi had hoped to make her way to the Dragonhorn Tower, but she... Atop the tower sits the Dragonhorn, said to ground dragons with one mighty call. Though Ishadi is not sure if the legends are true, it is our best hope against such a brutal foe. All we need is someone to blow the horn. It seems folly not to try. Then you must exit the catacombs and follow the path north. There, you will see the tower. This one cannot promise the plan will work, of course. The we will wait until you have blown the dragon horn. If the dragon is subdued, that will be our best chance to escape. If not, well, that is good to hear. Ishadi feared the worst. If you see them again, try to stay by the Grand Adept's side. He may seem steady. Many moons ago, Akaviri warriors known as the Dragon Guard protected this land. It was they who built the Dragon Horn Tower, a gift to safeguard Starhaven against the dragons that once plagued elsewhere. So the legends say. What a shame the Dragon Guard no longer walk the sands of elsewhere. We could use such warriors. Why does Queen Araxia want body parts? I know, I know. Don't ask. The dragon may be subdued, but not for long. This one fears for those inside the Adaptorium. Then Zamarak and the Traveler will go. We should take this chance to escape. As you wish. Let us be quick. The beast blocks our way. We must fight. Oh, 
Why did the dragon flee? It was called away. This one heard its name on the wind. Balok Dan. Called away? Do the dragons work together? Perhaps. At the very least, this dragon seems to have allied himself with the Euraxians. Then the rebellion has begun. Yes. This one is afraid it has. Come, traveler. Let us speak. Thank you for saving Majadro's disciples. You have a courageous spirit. It will do you well should you decide to stay and elsewhere. And this one does hope you decide to stay. The Khajiit need heroes like you during these dark times. And only more to come, this one fears. Before you leave, you should speak to Zamorak. It seems that he's also decided to leave us. Perhaps he can help guide you to your next location. Grand Walker, Jadro. one more thing. What will we do now? Starhaven is no longer safe. Who knows when it'll be attacked again? To give in to despair, this is easy. Let us instead find strength and hope. Joan and Jold will one day shine on Starhaven again. This, we must continue to believe. Ijadi will look after her fellow. Starhaven is safe, but the danger is far from over. The letter you carried. Zamarak must confess. Zamarak wants to help the Khajiiti Defense Force, but he has something he needs to check on first. But you... 